uh, with regard to, the, to, to your second question about uh, what we consider today as being the, the, the primary elements of a civilized modern society, and that being the freedoms of speech, communications, interactions, these are not elements that are pointedly addressed in Islamic law. Because the society in which the law itself emerged did not deal with those things. Uh, there are elements within, within Islam that provide support to such, to such ideas. The idea that human beings are free, the freedom to choose, the freedom to, to do so many things. Muslim scholars could not, could not find something directly, explicitly in the text. But then they, they found a, a, a discussion between a, a Muslim from Arabia and, and uh, the, uh, the king of, of uh, the Sasanian king. And he says, what is it that prompted you desert dwellers, Arabs that is, to leave the desert and aspire to imperial authority? What is it that ch changed people who had no aspirations towards this kind of, of global uh, exchanges. Why did you do that? And so he responded. He says, "Jina li nukhrija man shaa min ibadat al ibadi ila ibadat Allah." He says, "We have come to liberate those who want. Liberate them from what? From subservience to fellow human beings, to subservience to the ultimate God. So, so in that is found that spirit." of freedom that, that Islam espouses. And of course, if one looks at Muslim theology and its, its preoccupation and its insistence on human subservience to God alone, that, that, that is, is a, 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 a reservoir of, of, uh, of uh, evidence that Muslims have and can use to promote the idea that Islam too advocates freedom in much the same way as the world now embraces.